Hi, it's Graham Marty. I'm the recruitment guy with another top tip on how to survive the robot revolution. I read recently in the Times that Vodafone, the large telecoms company, was using artificial intelligence, that is smart self-learning computers and algorithms, to provide a pre-screening process for up to 50,000 applicants. Now what this means is that the people will be asked a question, they will then answer into a camera, and the software will establish based upon their, their facial expressions or the way that they sound, if they pause and hesitate or if they look a bit concerned, like that, whether or not the candidate is potentially suitable. Only once they've actually passed that process do they then filter them through so they can be met by individuals face to face. Now, for someone like Vodafone that's recruiting a huge number of people, they're saying this is reducing their time to hire by 50%. And indeed, a lot of other companies involved in telecoms and banking and finance are starting to use this self-same AI software. Now, what does that mean? It simply means that in the future, we're likely to have to go through a process where we're screened by AI rather than human people. Now, is that a good thing? I'm not so sure, but certainly if it helps us, anybody, an employer, reduce the time to hire, that's a good thing. If it also reduces the number of fallouts by a bad hiring decision, that's another good thing. Now this is literally at the early stages of this type of AI uh, opportunity for people to use software to establish the suitability of a candidate. But imagine how that's going to progress over the next 10, 20, 30 years. Does it mean that people like me, recruiters, are going to be out of a job? Well, who knows? We really don't know. Predicting the future is always a difficult thing to do. However, I would say that it does mean that for people like me, we should be aware of this and certainly start talking to companies to find out whether they're using AI and at which point they can use external recruiters to help them. Because of course so many companies have HR functions whereupon they're meeting people face to face. If they could use software and then use external recruiters on an ad hoc basis, that might be the future. But who knows? It's all conjecture. But I think it's worth thinking about. Consider how your job may be affected by AI in the future. That's it for me, Graham Martin, the recruitment guy. Goodbye.